What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the spawn system, of course, in Modern Warfare 3. And during the beta, this is one of my biggest complaints. I said there was two issues. One being the skill-based matchmaking seemed like it was turned up to 10, but the spawn system was really, really bad. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, if you enjoy the video, hit the like button. And if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you consider subscribing. During the first and second weekend of the beta, a big topic of conversation uh, was the spawn system in Modern Warfare 3. And it was almost unplayable for some certain game modes. Of course, you know, if you were playing Mosh Pit, you were kind of getting thrown in things like Team, Kill Confirmed, Domination, Hardpoint, and so on. And I felt like Dom and Hardpoint were really hard to kind of predict exactly what was going to happen during the game. Because the spawn system was so bad but even in team deathmatch which has always been call of duty's most popular mode that's always had the most players uh kind of playing you know at a time if there's any mode in the game that's played the most in any call of duty it's always been team and even in team deathmatch the spawn system was really really bad now some of the maps are you know kind of a good size some of the maps are smaller but no matter really what map you're playing on no matter what mode you were playing on, a lot of times you seemed like you would just spawn up and get shot in the back or vice versa. I've spawned up several times during the beta and would shoot someone in the back immediately as well. Luckily, it seems like Sledgehammer is really working on this. It says their team is investigating reports of poor spawn selection quality and making adjustments for the launch. They said, of course, during the beta, they were wanting people to send clips of unfavorable spawns. And there's been a lot of talk about this with content creators, even exclusive ace recently and give him a big shout out. If you have not seen that video, um, go definitely check that out. Uh, he talked about the different spawns in the game. And of course, you know, he does that with every single game that's come out really that, you know, Call of Duty's had over the last several years or pretty much that's ever made. And he always kind of goes into great detail about the spawn system. He was talking about how bad it was in this game. There's been a lot of content creators that have talked about this, but he said they've also reached out talking to him about how to improve the spawn. So that is a good thing, in my opinion, that they're already looking at that before launch. Hopefully this will be something that will be improved upon uh, at launch and something that will continue to improve going forward throughout the life cycle of the game. Because personally, overall, uh, I really didn't have a whole lot of issues with the Modern Warfare 3 beta beside the spawn system and that skill-based matchmaking that was definitely turned up. Hopefully both of those things will get adjusted, but I think a lot of people are really going to be happy to hear you know, that they are working on that spawn system. And of course, we don't really have squad spawns in this game, and that's a great thing. I think a lot of people are not really happy with that. But of course, we're not really back at that old type of, of spawn system we used to have. It seems like they're just very random now, and that does make for a not very enjoyable playing experience. If you know, you're just popping up in a random location getting shot, or maybe you're going to pop up the next spawn and shoot somebody else in the back. And it just seems like there's no real flow to the game uh, when there's just no really being able to predict, you know, where the spawns are going to be. And of course, that's always been a part of Call of Duty, whether you're playing team deathmatch, whether you're playing an objective mode. If you can kind of predict those spawns and you're good at the game, you can really kind of control that game, control, you know, uh, kind of how the game flows. Of course, get a lot of kill streaks, and that's what makes Call of Duty enjoyable. So hopefully Sledgehammer will get these spawns fixed for, you know, release day. I'm not expecting them to be perfect, but I'm hoping uh, that spawn system and that skill-based matchmaking is going to be a better experience than we saw in the last two weekends of the beta. Leave me a comment with your thoughts, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.